Maybe the biggest misconception is that it's all mad scientists in lab coats. Looking at pages and pages of equations, it's quite inscrutable, but a lot of those concepts can be broken down and can be explained quite simply. The ideas of physics can be enjoyed by everyone. It's not, it's not this sort of thing that only, you know, real boffins can understand. Like a lot of the implications of it are really interesting for everyone. And I think a lot of people are doing um, interesting stuff trying to bring it out of its box a bit more. I knew that I didn't want to be a research scientist and I didn't want to do a PhD and I wasn't that interested in doing, actually doing physics as an academic. I was really concerned by climate change and I thought I want to work towards the solution rather than just be the problem. Renewable energy is absolutely essential and I also thought from, from a more career point of view, you know, this is a field that's only going to grow. Like, as more and more people start to realise what a mess we're in. So I originally went out to Uganda and I had a placement sponsored by Engineers Without Borders. We were looking at uh, biogas for dairy farmers in Western Uganda. So you need fridges to cool your milk and they're either not able to do that because they haven't got any way of doing it or they're doing it off very expensive diesel generators. And so the, the theory was dairy farmers have got a lot of cows so they've got a lot of manure um, and you can use that to make biogas which you can then use to run your fridges. And we were trying to see whether that was an option because potentially if, if we could make it work then there are loads and loads and loads of farmers that could benefit from it. And we identified a co-op that had very good governance and we introduced them to the equipment supplier and they're still talking about that to see how they can make it work. What we realised is that you need quite specific locations in some places it will work and some places it won't work. Most people in Uganda do not have access to energy. I think the statistic is something like the rural population, you know, you've got 5% access to electricity, which is crazy. And you know, that affects everything. It affects healthcare, it affects education. There's a big gender bias as well because women are doing most of the cooking and they've not got modern fuels to cook on. That's having a massive health implication for them. A lot of countries have got the opportunity to leapfrog that that process that we went through where we relied a lot on fossil fuels and go straight to renewables and there's no need for them to have that dirty phase in the middle. It makes total sense to me that we should be decarbonising our economy and eventually everyone will be in the same viewpoint. Like we will come to this realisation, it's just whether we do it quick enough to really stop the effects of climate change. But we will get there. Things are being discovered all the time that could massively change the way that we that we think about physics. Like we thought we had it all figured out before Einstein, and then Einstein came along, and we didn't. We realised we didn't know anything. And I think we're still sort of at that point where someone could discover something that could massively change. My whole degree could be irrelevant in a few years' time. Like that's the sort of era that we're in. And I think that's really interesting, really exciting.